Okay, so here's where we're at after time lapse. You get a good idea of what's going on. Um, it's really hard to capture the imagery on the camera, so you've got to get kind of the reflective index of uh, the lighting to really get you a good idea of what's happening. So it's still a really rough carving. Um, the pokey tool did a good job going deep enough to give us a sense of value. We've got our perimeter established, um, but it's very rough and that's fine. Uh, this is something where you're going to come back to it and you're not going to have your piece like fully carved in one shot. You're going to find that your fingers and your wrists and your arms get sore or your back gets sore while you're carving. So you want to take the time to take a break and then come back with a fresh light and say, okay, what do I want to do today? Would I like to soften these round edges or do I want to go back into the topography or the surface depth to give us a depth of field and body that's appropriate for whatever it is we're carving. Um, but I wanted to follow up, you know, when, when you're done, oftentimes what I like to do, uh, it's, it's kind of this cool little trick embraces the tactile nature of wax carving is I'll take my thumb and I'll just rake it across the edge. And your thumb is just a little bit, your thumbnail is just a little bit harder than the wax. And so as I'm raking it around that edge, you can't see what's happening, but you will in a moment. You can see that it just breaks that edge to give you a nice soft round shape. And that's when you'll notice, oh no, this part of the planet has a flat spot. And you go, well, I'm pretty sure it's round. So I'll know I need to come back and carve that a little later. But um, it's a good way to break the edges and get a feel for um, all the subtle things. You know, your eyes can see a lot of detail, but generally your your fingertips, they'll they'll feel down to the micron and you'll start to notice little bits that you want to break down a little further like up here and maybe pull this edge in a little more so that the the planet is more rounded and then you can come down and use your nail to kind of smooth out those troughs and valleys shapes where you know you're having trouble getting in with the right profile right as you're trying to lock this piece in so that you can scrape the valley or trough it's really tricky to find that balance and so your thumbnail is a good reference point to tell you which sections require more scraping or drag than you had anticipated and then when you're trying to come in and carve these intricate details here let's get that in focus these intricate details here right by the um the primary crater i've used as my marking spot those can be done with either the tip of your um, spoonie tool, right? We've got that nice beveled point. Or what I did um, a lot of during the time lapse is I was using the the point of the pokey tool, and then I would switch to the flat, and that would allow me to kind of clear out areas once I had gouged my way in, right? And so the problem is, as you're carving, you go, okay, well I want a line here, right? Well. I want my line here, but as I move back and forth, um, I need to remove more material. And so that's when you'll switch from the point of your pokey tool to the side flank, and that'll allow you to kind of clear out more material as you go.